Hey there, I hope you're doing well today. I'm gonna to be talking to you about protecting your website against hacking. Now, I haven't had my websites hacked before, but I do know of people that have had, that have had their websites hacked into, and um, it's not a nice situation. It's very stressful. If you're running a business, you're going to be losing out on traffic. You're going to be losing money because you won't have your business running as normal. And your reputation could be damaged as well, depending on how extreme the hack is. If your site's been defaced, something nasty has been written across it, all of these things, it's, it's not nice. Now you have services and you can get help um, from services out there to help you clean up the site. And um, obviously, if you have backups, this is one of the best protections or contingencies you can have is to go back to a backup of your site. So um, make sure you're following those principles. But I want to talk to you about six ways that you can protect your site today and prevent it in the first place, because prevention is always better than the cure. And you want to make sure that your websites are running in tip top conditions, condition and reliable, as reliable as possible. So um, these are not by any means a complete set of things that you can do, but it's just six things that I think are important. I do have a post on this and I will leave a link to it inside the description of this video so you can actually go and check that out as well. Now, um, one thing that I must say, caveat, there's no website that's going to be 100% protected. Um, just like if you drive a car and you've got the car insured and you've got it uh, well serviced that it doesn't guarantee that you won't have an accident or you won't have a breakdown but the best thing to do is to protect your property just like you would with anything else and not leave it exposed so that it's easy for someone to hack into i also get the question all the time because i use wordpress for my websites uh, is wordpress safe is, is it not like unsecure from um, hacking and the answer to that is, um, of course, it is safe, relatively speaking. You hear of hackings with WordPress websites all the time because it's just one of the most popular website platforms. And most people on the internet are running WordPress for their websites, but there wouldn't be if it wasn't secure. It's just a matter of you keeping it secure and following best practices and doing the things that you're supposed to do consistently to help mitigate against hacking. And if you ignore security on any website, you will have some issue at some point. By the way, my name is Marlon from MarlonMacPherson.com. If you're new here, welcome. I do content like this to help you optimize your website and your online content so you can grow online. The first way that I'm gonna talk about here is passwords. Um, don't use easy passwords, try to use difficult passwords. And I know this is a sticking point for some people because they try to um, always use the same password for everything because they can remember it. And I know, I know, having so many things to log into these days, it can be overwhelming with passwords, but try not to use your name or anything that's guessable. Don't use password, don't use admin. If you get a default password set up for you, change it to something else. Um, don't use date of births and pets names and things like that because these are easily guessable by others. And on top of that, it's not a case where there are people sitting down trying to guess your passwords. There are bots which are basically computer software that's automated online to go and try to guess passwords on multiple websites and they have an algorithm that's running and they can try and go through multiple combinations of common words and things within the space of a minute minute they can do hundreds or even thousands of guesses because they're running on a computerized system and um, they'll try and try and try until they guess the password but if you have a um, strong password meaning that you have a mixture of um, well, have say six to eight characters and you have a mixture of uppercase, lowercase, um, symbols, numbers, all combined, which doesn't really make sense, then it's going to be a lot harder for them to crack. So uh, the way you get around not remembering passwords is not 
remembering them in the first place use a password manager i've been using a password manager for years now and i've spoken about this before in fact i think i've got a post on this as well there are several password managers online that you can sign up to um, one of them that's free is one password they have a free tier and a paid tier so what that does is, is it stores all your passwords securely in a database online and you just need to remember one master password that you can access that through and you'll be able to log into any website with their browser extension um, by just clicking and it will just fill in the password for you so you don't have to do that there's another one that i use called keep pass that is an open source one it's free to use but it takes a little bit more setting up because you're storing the database on your own rather than using a service i store mine in like google drive and then i can access it from my phone and so on and they have apps for android ios windows and mac so anywhere you are you can access that database as long as you store it in your a centralized location on your cloud storage that you have access to all the time the next thing is to have a good firewall. So having a good firewall can protect your website from bad traffic. And when I say bad traffic, there are these bots, as I've mentioned in the past, that comes through and tries to attack your website. Now, if they are recognized by your hosting or whatever protection systems you're using in the form of having a firewall, which is basically a border between the outside traffic and your website, it will block all of those known hacking type of sites or hacking type of traffic rather that's trying to come in to attack your site so it will deflect those and only let the good traffic through so when you're setting up your hosting or when you're looking for hosting make sure that you have some sort of degree of protection there in terms of a firewall you can also install a plugin on your WordPress website that have that sort of feature built in as well um, I think WordFence fence have that and there are um, some other ones as well out there that um, will give you a firewall. Uh, so just make sure you have something like that set up. Another thing to do is to keep your WordPress plugins up to date. So WordPress itself and the plugins that come on WordPress basically is software and software needs to be updated in terms of adding features and patches for security because someone might discover a vulnerability before a hacker has the time to actually exploit that and what WordPress or the plugin developers will do is they'll send out an update to patch that security or fix it therefore you'll be protected from that particular vulnerability and if you neglect to update your software then you're basically a ticking time bomb because at any point when it does get discovered by hackers or um, anyone else that's trying to breach your system, they'll use that backdoor or that um, opportunity to exploit your website and hack into it. So always keep them up to date um, by running the updates as they come out and making sure you're on top of that. Another way to protect your website from hacking is to use SSL security. So SSL is short for secure socket layer and um, that's a bit technical but in terms of basically how to explain it is that you have some sort of encryption between your visitor the data that they send to your site and the back and forth communication so if there was anyone to intercept the data they won't be able to see what's in it because it's encrypted previously it used to be only needed for sites that have uh, transactions going through in terms of card payments and so on but nowadays you're expected to have SSL right across the board it doesn't matter what kind of site you are running if you don't have that then it, it can be um, detrimental because you will lose visitors people expect to see that padlock in the corner with next to the address and if you don't have that it will actually flag up to say this site is unsecure and that's the last thing you want to see when you visit someone's website because it's going to turn someone off they're not going to want to actually browse or put their details in you know let alone do a transaction with you so make sure that you have SSL SSL is free to get nowadays with pretty much any hosting provider so there's no excuse to not have it basically there's paid ones as well but you don't really need the paid ones um, they come with extra features and stuff but the basic um, SSL uh, service is um, provided through with well, the free service anyway is provided through let's encrypt and if you use something light like a uh, Cloudflare uh, they also provide SSL so if you don't have that make sure you get that on your site right now 
Now, another way you can protect your site against hacking is to monitor user accounts. Well, at least this is to check whether or not there's any unusual um, usernames or user accounts that's been created and it's not by you or anyone in your organization. You want to check your user accounts because sometimes people can actually hack into your site and do nothing, but they create a user account and that user account just sits there and it gives them the opportunity to log into the site whenever they want. So maybe scans might not pick that up. So that's one way to actually check um, for um, or mitigate against hacking by looking to see if someone set up a user account. That way you can actually go in and secure the site, delete the user account, do what you need to do and make it more secure and prevent them from actually using the site for any sort of malicious purposes. Another way to protect, another way to protect your site I touched on this before is to have backups have regular backups done on your site this is sort of like one of the easiest way you can mitigate against a hack so say you get hacked you could roll back to a previous version of your site that's a clean version and i say a clean version because you could also be backing up a site whilst it's been hacked and you didn't re even realize it so you need to run regular scans to make sure that you don't have any vulnerabilities on your site um, and you know therefore you can know that your backups are clean but the way you would find out anyway is if you restore from a backup and you check that backup if it's not showing anything up via a scan or whatever the, the situation is then you know that that backup is good and then you can now secure the site going forward if you don't have multiple versions of your backup then you will need as in a clean version you will need to have your site cleaned up so that's when you would hire a service to actually clean up your site um, this can take several hours um, and it can be quite expensive as well depending on the severity of the hack so you want to avoid going down her route in the first place again prevention is better than cure so make sure you have regular backups i tend to keep 30 days worth of backups whether you do four backups for the month so one a week or something um, or do weekly backups in some cases you might want to do daily backups or um you know more regular backups than just weekly if you're running a site that's very busy that you're updating content on all the time or you're having transactions go through so just bear that in mind as well now, another way you can actually check for hacking and to sort of like protect yourself is to check the user log on WordPress. So now you can install a plugin. Um, there might be several plugins out there that do this where you're able to see any changes that happen in the back end of WordPress. So if you know that you haven't made any changes and you see something happening, um, you can actually go and investigate that and have the site scanned and get it cleaned up and get it secured if that is the case. Now, all of these things combined is going to harden your website and allow you to either prevent or um, stop someone from going further if they've managed to breach your site to some degree. So make sure you follow these steps all the time and be meticulous with how you monitor your website as well with your security plugin or whatever you have whatever system you have to monitor and scan your website just make sure you use those regularly and you should be fine like i said i've never been hacked i've uh, it doesn't mean that it can't happen it just means that i'm not going to make it easy for them to get in and um, therefore you know you don't have to deal with all of that kind of thing now go ahead and check out one of my other videos on screen so you can keep learning about optimizing your website and your online content and I'll catch you in the next one.